Take a tunnel, take a tunnel, take a tunnel, take a tunnel. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Today we'll be watching Holes, which was released in 2003 and it was directed by Andrew Davis. It famously stars Sigourney Weaver, John Voight, and Shia LaBeouf. Holes is one of my favorite movies. I remember seeing it in theaters, like on a field trip. There was a whole Q&A with the cast beforehand. I learned that the onions that they eat later in the movie were actually apples because Shia LaBeouf hates onions. I had the book read to me in middle school and then I saw the movie whenever it came out, so high school yeah. because I'm old. I've never seen this movie before and I've only just recently finished reading the book for the first time so that we can do a video for Kathy's channel, mm -hmm. which we will link to. What I like a lot about this movie is that it's a very accessible introduction into the prison industrial complex for kids, and it's still relevant. Shall we get started? Yeah. Oh, I remember this. Yeah! Oh yeah, it's the other boy. The Sparf Bag. Sparf Bag! Yeah, I like that they start with this. It's a powerful opening. <laughs> I had forgotten in the book that Stanley is fat. I think the only reason that I would be okay with them not going with that is that Stanley is poor, and so if they're going for like an emaciated almost look, like I can yeah. understand that. Could I just smell your shoe? Yeah, that, that is always no. This is a very good example of why you have the right to remain silent. You may be innocent, but the cops are not looking out for you. <laughs> it's not really their job. Is that Dulé <gasps> Hill? It is. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, I haven't watched this movie since it came out, so I'm very excited he about Dulé Hill. Best character! Oh I just want to rewatch West Wing now. Dr. Pendanski, your counsel. Sir, if you are gonna wear a sun shirt, you better go all the way and wear long sleeves. Come on, man. Oh, zero. When I was a small child, I had the biggest crush on Zero. You want to know why they call him Zero? Because there's nothing going on in his stupid little head. Wow, uh, man. That's... You're a freaking adult. Dirty rotten pig stealing. Great, great, great. <laughs> Super they big crush help. on kissing Kate Barlow. Like, I mean, who yeah. doesn't? She only kissed the men she killed. That's a weird fetish. The library is full of shovels, and I feel personally offended by this. <laughs> and Earth a kit! Earth a oh. mother! Yes. yes. I love that she's just like going around looking at them like they're pigs. Yeah. Like, I'm just choosing livestock, it's fine. Good lord, man, it's five feet away from you. That was like pretty convincing CGI in 2003. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was 15 years ago, guys. Yeah. Dear mom, I'm having a wonderful time at camp. Oh, uh, this was always so, so heartbreaking. Because mm -hmm. it's like, I know I just have to go through this because this is apparently what we all signed up for yeah. and I'm just gonna and do it. And he doesn't it. want her to worry. He yeah, just, he exactly. Wants, he wants her to think he's having like, a good time. What is it? Yeah, see, look. Look it's at the little fishies. Fishies. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It looked like those cave pictures. <laughs> Sam! Those... I didn't mean to hit you. Oh. oh. Yeah, that was cut together really well. Yeah. They wanted a thousand bucks for just one puppy. I would have made it out. My pocket didn't start barking. <laughs> he stole a dog. Aww. He wanted a puppy. It is the most adorable reason to be sent to prison. No. And a white boy doing it never would have gotten the same no. sentence. No. So far, you've done a pretty good job of screwing it up. Clearly, this is going to help me make my life better by hearing all of this crap. It absolves Mr. Panansky of any kind of responsibility for what's happening here if he's like, no, no, you're here because of you. You are here on account of one person. You know who that person is? My no good, dirty, rotten, pig stealing, great, great grandfather. That's who yeah. it is. Yeah. It me. See, Come armpit on. is what Stanley probably should have looked like. Yeah. With the letters in it? KB. Yeah, that's Keith Barringer. Man, who's that? He was in my math class. <laughs> Just reminding you that they're still teenagers. What's so great about the book and the movie is just that these these kids are kids. You better get down here. I think we got something. He's totally in on the scam. Such a fitting car. Yeah. <laughs> I'm slightly a sucker for like reveals like this where you're like, wait, what? It's not a dude. Yeah. Oh, yet yeah, not a dude. You can no. tell. Sarah, you would wear you, that shirt. You would exactly what heartbeat. I was thinking. That would be in your shirt. Heartbeat. Yeah. If you ever found it anywhere, you'd order 20 of them. Sarah's <laughs> like, wow, the warden is my girlfriend. <laughs> I think it'd be a fun way to oh, die. Right. <laughs> fill everyone's canteen. I already filled them. Excuse me? Oh, honey. Oh, son. 
Can you hear the empty spaces? <laughs> Mr. Mr. Sir is having a great time. Mm -hmm. She has to be somewhat of a genius because she was like, I'm gonna think up this scam to get 12 to 16 year old boys to dig holes for me every day on this lake. Sam. That face. I know. It's, so cute. it's perfect. I'm just good with my hands. I bet you are. <laughs> I can fix that. <laughs> I absolutely love how that is like a super sexy meme now. Duck. May swim on the lake, but my daddy owns the lake. He's an asshole. It's the warden's granddaddy. His you can mother. tell by how dickish he is. But your little joke just cost you a week of shower privilege. No, yeah. the, rest of, the rest of the kids are like, God damn it, no. They don't know what you're looking for, so yeah. anything that's not dirt is interesting. Oh no. They're playing a sad song. <laughs> And, oh and slowing down the footage. Whoa, whoa. Don't you love how they do that to be like, look, it's emotion. <laughs> I can fix that. I can fix that. Yes! <laughs> Doesn't he know he could get pneumonia by being out in the rain like that? Why can't he though? <laughs> I always get drunk before hanging. Then you better hang me too, because I kissed him back. They killed Mary no! Lou! Mary Lou didn't do anything. You know that thing from Community where it's like, I can excuse racism, but I cannot excuse animal cruelty. And then Yvette Nicole Brown is like, You can excuse racism. There's a line in the book that is so subtle. It, it like gives me goosebumps thinking about it. And it happens right after that. Ooh, he did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then she steals his horse mm -hmm. and that's it. It's so heartbreaking. Oh yeah. Once upon a time, uh. there was a magical place where it never rained. The end. Need some work. Some characters would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Workshop it a bit. Mr. Sir walks like his legs are always stiff. That's how Texans walk. Oh. <laughs> you want to know my secret ingredient? The blood of 12 year olds. Rattlesnake venom. Close. Go on, Stanley. Hit him back. Yes, authority figure. Tell him to beat up the other kid. That's totally going to help. Zero has been homeless his, almost his entire life. I mean, Zero's clearly seen some shit by the way he picked up that pool ball. But the mental stress just causes his brain too much of a challenge. You think Zero hasn't heard that before in his life too? I like that's, right. uh, that's the word. D-I-G. What's that spell? Oh, yes! <sighs> Dig! Yeah! Run! Biggest crush on the kid. Yep. That knocks a full-grown adult out with a shovel. No one cares about Hector Zeroni. Yeah, wanna mo but. Keep going, Look Stanley, where you're pay going. attention to the road. And yeah, that's right. You just know they're gonna have to dig that out of there, but they're gonna love every minute of it because that was so epic. Uh uh. That's now those are clearly not CGI. No. no. Those are just, just lizards that they painted. Yeah. The you know Kate what this Barla makes me song. think of? Smash that now? scene in Rent. Oh, oh yeah. 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 You're what you are. That apple is doing its crunch thing. Apples with makeup. I stole the shoes. I didn't know they were famous. It's not unreasonable. What idiot left them out like that? Yeah, it's not like they have a sign on them saying, hey, look, super important item. That was a weird shot. <laughs> yeah. Those stars look like a shovel to me. That might be you projecting. Her death is also a signifier to the audience that, like, material wealth never made her happy. I've been wishing I was dead for a long time. I kind of prefer this ending from the one in the book. I like that she dies with Sam there. Yeah. We found it! Oh my god, could you be any louder? I think the Girl Scout's selling cookies. I mean, that does sound delightful, right, but... The yell next. <laughs> he can't read. See the thing about that. Don't worry. We'll take good care of Hector. What's that mean? It's like, did you just try to control my body with your white hands? <laughs> They're all friends! Yeah. They care about one another. Exactly. Yay. The curse has been reversed. That is some fake ass looking sh**. And that's how the great great grandson, Elia Yelnats, and the great 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 grandson of Madame Zeroni came next to her neighbors. Aww. <laughs> this is like the Old Spice commercial. I know, right? Before yeah. Old Spice. <laughs> All the boys are having a pool party and they're all together and they're friends and they're all happy and I love it. That is a good movie. Disney was like, oh, we want this movie to be good. Let's get Lewis Sacker to write this because he clearly knows what he's doing. Not everyone can no, write a screenplay no. of their own book. No. JK Rowling, <laughs> for example. Oh, this is yes. the remix. They're gonna, yeah. 
rap about their characters. We can probably. No, 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 no. Just gotta wait for me to get to it. Don't worry about it. Got my shovel, my shoes full of sand. Check out my tag, my name's Caveman. Okay. All right. You know that now we can get through. 15 years. Yeah. There you go. So what did we learn, folks? We learned so much. <laughs> Sometimes adults are just the, the worst. worst. If you want like a primer course for systemic issues with the prison industrial system in America, this movie is a really good example. Boys are allowed to have emotions. Also, if you're looking for treasure, dig near the prettiest rock, obviously. As you guys heard, we discussed the book a lot, but if you're more interested in the book side of things and our thoughts on the book, you can go ahead and check out a book discussion on Cappy's channel. And thank you all for watching. If you're not already subscribed to The Princess and the Scrivener, please do so down below, especially if you'd like to see more videos on Disney, intersectional feminism, pop culture critiques, and more. And just to make sure you never miss a video, make sure you hit that bell right next to the subscribe button. One of them we'll see you next week. It famously stars Sigourney Weaver, John Voight, and Shia LaBeouf. And it is one of my favorite movies ever. Do you <clears throat> not like the cider? Apparently not. <laughs> Thank you for ruining that take. I know, right?